it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet, and today we're going to learn how to make these tiny teddies. They're really easy, really quick to make up. They sell really great at craft fairs. They make really great gifts. They make great keychains. Um, just really fun and easy to make. So let's get into the materials. Okay, so for your materials today, you're going to need a four millimeter hook. You're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need a darning needle or what you might call a crochet needle. And it looks like this. You also are going to need a stitch marker. Um, that could be anything you want to use. I just usually use a pair, a piece of yarn, but there are, you know, the little plastic stitch markers. You can use those. And for my little tiny teddies, I used um, the doll eyes. Um, I just had a bunch of them and they need to be used up that I ordered from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description box below, but I believe this is the smallest size, which is a six millimeter. Um, so you'll need those, or you can make little black ones out of yarn and you can do it yourself. You do not have to use these, okay? And you might need some stick pins, but that's totally up to you. I'm also gonna need stuffing for this project, and I have a bag of stuffing that I bought from, I think it was Hobby Lobby, but they sell it everywhere. Also, if you don't have any and you wanna repurpose stuff in your home, you can use old pillows or old stuffed animals. Um, you could use cotton balls even, but they don't have a really good elasticity to them, so you really have to be careful with those. I'm just trying to think of things that you can use, because um, a lot of times that's not something that you have handy. You could use yarn as well, because this is such a tiny project, but again, it'll make it heavier and won't have enough elasticity. So basically, you should use stuffing, but if you don't have it, try to find anything you can. Okay, so one thing I do want to say is please like and share this video. Please hit the uh the subscribe button below and the little bell that will let you know when I have all my videos out. Um, and please share this video to any friends or um, crochet groups or anything like that. If you love this video, that really helps. And if you make these and you sell them or you share them, please just give me a friendly tag um, in whatever description box that you're using, like for Instagram or Facebook, that means a lot too. So I really appreciate it. Okay, let's get into the tutorial. So to get started, you're going to want to make a magic circle. And into this magic circle, we're going to put six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we will be working in the round, so we won't be closing this off. We'll just be, we'll just continue to work on. Now, if you wanna start using a stitch marker here, you can, but I'm gonna wait until I do my next round, okay? So we're gonna go into this first stitch right here, and we're going to put two single crochets. So I'm gonna go in right to this first stitch that we did. Sometimes it can be harder to get into. And two single crochets, one and two. And then I'm gonna put two in each stitch around until I get a count of 12. So that was two. So I'm gonna go into my next and put two single crochets. There's three and four, and two in the next, five and six, and two in the next, seven and eight, and two in the next, nine and 10, and two in the next, 11 and 12. Okay, so now we have 12 around and now I'm gonna cut off a piece of yarn to use as my stitch marker. I'm gonna pull that up, that loop up. I'm gonna put my stitch marker in, right in this last place we did a single crochet. And as I said, you should have 12 now. And now we're gonna do another row of increase. So we're gonna go right into this first stitch right here and we're going to put one single crochet. And in the, the next stitch, we're going to put two. And in the next stitch, we're going to put one single crochet. And in the next stitch, we're going to put two. 
and you're just gonna keep doing that same pattern along one and two, and you should have 18. So there's one and two. And then one and two. And one and two. and one, and then in the last one, pull out your stitch marker and put two single crochets in that spot. And then in the last single crochet that you did, you're gonna put your stitch marker back. Okay, and like I said, now you have 18. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work two rounds of single crochet. So we're gonna go right into our first stitch and we're gonna put one single crochet. And into the next, one single crochet, one single crochet, okay? And then when we get to the last space here that we need to work a single crochet, pull out your stitch marker, put a single crochet there, and then put your stitch marker back. At this point, you wanna turn your work um, properly, so let me show you how to do that real quick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push it out going the other way because we want this part to be our outside, not our inside. And it gets harder to turn around as you go, okay? And then now what we're gonna do is just another row of single crochet. So I'm down to my last spot here of our second round of single crochet. So I'm gonna pull out that stitch marker. I'm gonna put my last single crochet there and then I'm going to pull this up so it doesn't come undone, and I'm gonna put my stitch marker back, okay? Again, you should still have a count of 18 all the way around, that wouldn't have changed. And now we're going to do a row around of decrease. So I'm gonna go into my next stitch, I'm gonna pull up and do a single crochet, and in the next two, I'm gonna do a decrease. So to do a decrease, I'm gonna go through the front loop of this stitch, then I'm gonna go through the front loop of this stitch, then I'm gonna pull through and then go through both loops. Then I'm gonna to go to my next stitch, put a single crochet, and then go into my next two stitches, front loop only, and then go through both of those and go through both loops. Then go through the next stitch and put a single crochet. And you're just gonna keep doing that all around. Now these decreases might look different than the decreases that you do, that's because these are called, called invisible decreases. They really don't show as well as the other one. Okay, so we're gonna do a single crochet, and then we've got two left, and of those two, we've got our stitch marker on one of those. So pull this out, because we're going to do our last stitch, which is a decrease. Go through your front loop, your front loop, pull through, and then go through both loops. And then you pull up, and you're gonna put your stitch marker back. Now this is the point that we're going to put our eyes on and I'm gonna show you how to do that in case you've never done doll eyes before. But we're gonna keep that, like I said, the stitch marker in, we're gonna keep this pulled out so it doesn't come undone. And then I'm gonna turn it where, I just think it's easier this way. I'm not gonna work on this side for the eyes. I'm gonna put them right here, okay? So just turn your work where it looks just like this. And then if you, this is the point where if you need to, you could use stick pins to tell you exactly where to put the eyes. You could put one here and one over here. I'm not gonna do that, but I'm just saying it can be helpful when you're placing eyes and stuff onto amigurami. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna find what I need for um, my eyes. So this is the little set that it came with. So I'm gonna pull out the two smallest. I don't have very many left. <laughs> which are over here. So this is what they look like. And like I said, I'm pretty sure these are six millimeter. Okay, and then I'm going to find the backs that go with these. So I'm gonna pull out the smallest. They're all mixed together, that's the way they sent them to me, but you just find the smallest ones and you know that's where they go, okay? So I'm gonna lay these right here. I'm gonna pull my work over here and I'm gonna show you exactly where I put my eyes. So I put one eye here, so you're not even going up a full, so you're going up to the top of this first round right here, okay? So I'm gonna put one right here 
and you're just gonna push it through just like that. And then I'm going to put one right here, okay? You do wanna leave enough space in the middle of your eyes to put the little um, muzzle for the teddy bear. So I'm gonna put that right in there. And then I'm gonna look at them. I think that looks pretty good, okay? Then I'm going to turn my work kind of inside out because I need to put these ends on. And all you do is put the smallest portion facing down towards the, the eye. Okay, so we've got our backs on. And now we're gonna go ahead and stuff. Right now, we're gonna stuff a little bit into the head. And for stuffing, you want it to be enough to where it's coming out the top, but not too much. And then you'll know that you have enough. So I'm gonna make sure those are pointed out there. And I'm just going to start working the stuffing in with my nails. If it's hard for you to get in, you could use the um, back of your crochet hook and just press it in like this, okay? And these are very tiny, so you're not gonna need a lot, but you just keep pressing just like this. Okay, so you see I've got that stuffed pretty good. And so now we can keep crocheting. So what we're going to do now is we're gonna put our hook right back into the loop that we had pulled up. We've still got our stitch marker here. And now we're going to do one more row of single crochet. So one, two, three, and pull your stitch marker out and put your 12th single crochet right here and then we're gonna put our stitch marker right back in. And now we're gonna do another row of decrease. Okay, so what you're gonna do now is you're going to decrease all the way around, okay? So you're gonna go into your first stitch here, pull, uh, put your uh, hook through the loop, the front loop, go through the front loop of the next stitch, pull through, go through both loops. And again, another decrease. So you should have six decreases all the way around. Remember the last two involve where your stitch marker is, so pull that out, go into the next stitch, front loop, into the next stitch, front loop, pull through, go through both loops. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It's kind of like an alien head. So pull this up, put your stitch marker back, and now we're gonna start increasing. So this is done pretty much besides the muzzle. This is all done in one fell swoop. There's not a lot of pieces to put together. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do it all with uh, just this right here. So we're gonna go into our next stitch and we're gonna start working on the body. So we're gonna go into our next stitch and we're gonna put two single crochets. We're gonna start increasing. And then two in the next. So you're gonna want 12 all the way around. So there's four, five, six, so two in each stitch, seven, and eight. Nine and 10. And pull that stitch marker out. And in this last one, you're gonna put two there, 11 and 12, okay? So that's what it looks like. And now we're gonna put our stitch marker back and we're gonna increase, okay, one more time. So you're gonna go into your next stitch and you're going to put one single crochet then you're gonna go into the next and put two. 
and into the next one single crochet and into the next two and into the next one and into the next two. So just keep doing that all the way around. You should have a stitch count of 18. So pull that stitch marker out and in this last stitch, put your last two single crochets. Okay, and as you can see, we've increased. This is what it looks like. So now we're going to put our stitch marker right back in here. And now we're going to do one row of single crochets. And that should still be 18 all the way around. So just do single crochets all the way around. Okay. So in this last stitch, pull out your stitch marker and put your last single crochet here. And then you're going to put your stitch marker back. And now we're going to do a row of decrease. So the head on this is a little bit bigger than the body that I created here. I just think it looks better that way, okay? And so now we're going to put one single crochet in the next stitch, and then we're going to do a decrease. And one single crochet in the next stitch, and then a decrease. So you're just gonna keep doing that all the way around, and you should have a stitch count of 12 when you're done with this. Single crochet, we're gonna pull our stitch marker out, do our last decrease, Pull that out, put our stitch marker back, and now we're going to stuff the middle here before we close it up. As I can here. Okay, so now we have our inside of our tummy here stuffed, and now we're going to do a last round of increase for this. So we're going to go all around and do increases. So again, that means we're going to have six. So there's one, two, and then our last one, we're going to pull our stitch marker out, and we're going to do our last decrease here. Okay? And I think I could probably put a little bit more stuffing in there. So I'm gonna pull this out and I'm just gonna get a little tiny bit of stuffing because again, this is such a small teddy. And now what we're going to do is, is we're gonna pull out quite a bit of yarn because we're gonna use this yarn that we're about to pull out to make the legs, the arms, and the ears, okay? So I'm going to pull up like this and I'm gonna do this once, twice, three times, four times, and then back up once more, okay? So to get an idea of how much this is, it's about six feet, and that is gonna be too much, but I wanna make sure that we have plenty, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and pull this out right here, okay? We're gonna go ahead and pull all of our yarn out, and tighten that up right there. And then we're gonna go around with our darning needle to close up this hole here, okay? So I'm gonna put this in. Okay, so to close up this hole, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my darning needle and I'm gonna go through my very next stitch just like this. So I'm gonna pull it through there. There's one. And then through the next, there's two, okay? So after we go through all of those, we're gonna pull really tight, push that stuffing back down, and just pull super tight to close up that hole, okay? Just like that. And then I'm gonna go right through the middle of it to the other side and pull out one more time. And then again, I'm gonna pull tight, okay? If you have any stuffing that's come out or got an end stuff, you can pull it out with your darning needle or a pair of scissors. All right, so we've got that closed and now we're gonna go right up through the middle here and we're gonna go out the side right over here. So right here's our eye, so you're gonna count over two stitches and you're gonna come up right where the neck is and pull out your yarn, okay? Just like that. 
and that will also tighten the end here. Then you're gonna take your crochet hook and you're gonna go right under where you see the yarn coming through. So right under there and through this, and you're gonna pull this out, okay? So go right up through there, pull through, and now you have a loop. So you're gonna do chain one, then you're going in that same spot, you're going to put a half double crochet, then you're going to put a double crochet, and then you're gonna go right back in for a single crochet, all in that same spot. Pull that loop out, and then go back to where you did your first chain, put your hook through where you did the first chain as best you can, pick up this loop right here, and then you're gonna pull through both of those, okay? Just like that. And then you're going to pull your yarn through again. And then you're gonna put this back on your darning needle and you're gonna do the same thing on the, ex uh, the other side. So you're gonna mirror just what you just did. So I'm gonna take my darning needle, I'm gonna go right back into where we've been working in and I'm gonna go right to the other side, just like this. Right where I came out over here, I'm gonna come out over here. And then I'm gonna pull through. And when you pull this, it's gonna tighten up that arm and bring it closer to the body, just like that. Okay? And so now we're gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna take my hook, I'm gonna go right under where my yarn is, I'm gonna pull through, I have a loop, I'm gonna chain one, I'm gonna go back into the same spot, do a half double crochet, go back in and do a double crochet, and then go back in and do a single crochet. Pull up my loop, go through the very first chain that I did, and you might only be able to pull up one loop, that's okay. And then go back, catch this loop right here, pull down tight, go through both of those, and then pull out again. And now we're gonna do the legs. So I'm gonna go right through here where I had just gone in, and I'm gonna go right down here. So right here is the middle, so I'm gonna count up two, and I'm gonna go right here on the top of this second round right here from the middle. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this through. And when I go to pull this through, it's gonna tighten up this arm. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And let's get busy on a leg, and it's gonna be the same we did for the arms. We're gonna go right beside where we have this yarn coming out. We're gonna pull up a, a loop. We're going to do one chain. Then into the same spot, we're going to do a half double crochet, a double crochet, and a single crochet. And just like we did before, we're going to grab this chain right down here, this chain one, pull our loop back in and pull this through, just like that. Now we can pull our yarn out again. Okay, so now I'm gonna go right through where I've been working through and I'm gonna go to the other side right here. Okay, and then when you go to pull, it's gonna bring that leg in more as well. Okay, and again, we're gonna do the same thing that we did on the other side, okay? We're gonna pull our, push our hook in, bring up, do a chain one, then go through the same place and do a half double crochet then do a double crochet, then do a single crochet, then join these together by putting your hook into that first chain that you did and then back into this loop. Pull through, and then pull your yarn out again. Then we're going to put this back onto the darning needle. Just 
just like this. And then we're gonna go right up just where we had come out of. And we're gonna take our yarn over here right beside our eye. So right there, that's where we're gonna pull up our yarn for our ear. And again, as we pull up, it's gonna set the leg appropriately, just like that, okay? And now we're gonna work on the ear. So what we're gonna do for the ear is we're gonna go right in here and we're going to pull up a loop again. But we're gonna go up above that into the next space and that's where we're gonna put a single crochet. Then you're gonna go right back in there and you're going to do a half double crochet then a double crochet, then a half double crochet, and then a single crochet, just like that. And then right here beside it, you're gonna skip this one round and go around the next, and you're going to put a slip stitch, okay? Then you're going to pull out again. Okay, and now you've got one ear done. So you're gonna do the same thing on the other on, then you're gonna go through the same spot and you're gonna go right over here where we just ended here. You're gonna pull out your yarn and then we're gonna do the same thing going down this way. So in this first stitch right here, we're gonna pull up our yarn, do one um, chain, then you're going to go into the next stitch, pull up, and we're going to put a half double crochet, a double crochet, a half double crochet, and a single crochet. And then right here beside the ear where we had first started on the other side, we're going to do a slip stitch and pull that all the way through. Okay, so now you have two ears and we're almost done. And what's gonna complete this is gonna be the little muzzle in the middle, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. But right now I wanna show you how to work in this last piece of yarn that we have here. So as you can see, I have quite a bit left. You're gonna put your yarn through, and then you're gonna go right back into the same spot and go through the middle of your bear three times. So there's one, two, going in and out the same spot, and then again, three, right into the middle, just like that. Then you wanna pull tight so that the yarn goes back into the bear, and voila, okay? So now I'm gonna show you how to do the muzzle. So let's go ahead and pull out our white yarn. Okay, so I've got my white yarn, and all you're going to do is make a magic circle. And you're going to do six single crochets into this magic circle. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then you're gonna pull tight, and then you're going to slip stitch to close into your first stitch. And that be, might be kind of hard to work into. If it is, you can use your darning needle to loosen up that stitch a little bit. Okay, and then you want to cut off a little bit so you have, you know, a, uh, these to work in, and then you're just going to pull it out. And then you're going to put this on your darning needle. And you're going to go through this next, uh, this stitch right here to pull it out the other side, just like that, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna work in the back here, okay? So we can get it out of our way because we need to sew on the nose and the little mouth here. So I'm just gonna work this in the back. I 
I don't need to work it in a ton because we're gonna be sewing this on, but I did wanna work it in and then I can cut off. And now we're gonna pull out my black. I'm going to split this yarn so that it's smaller, okay? Now, if you have some cross stitch yarn or something like that you can use or thread, then that's fine. But I'm going to just pull this out where it's very thin. I'm sorry if you can't see it. But basically, I'm just doing the yarn in half, basically. Okay, so I'm gonna cut that off. And then I'm gonna put this piece onto my darning needle. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at this straight on and I'm going to come up beside this stitch right here at the top, right here, leaving a tail in the back. And then I'm gonna go over here to the other side like this. I'm trying to keep it as straight as I can. Then I'm gonna go back over here again and do it again because I want it to be a little bit thicker on the nose portion, okay? And then I'm gonna go down to the bottom and I'm gonna pull up for the little mouth, okay? So I'm gonna go all the way down here at the bottom in the middle, right above here, just like this. And I'm gonna go all the way up to where I'm under the nose so it meets correctly, okay? You can pull that apart if you need to. And now, this is what it looks like. Now we're going to tie this off in a knot in the back. I usually don't care to knot things, but it's okay to do this because we're gonna be sewing it on to the teddy bear. So I'm going to knot this probably about two or three times. One, two, okay, and then you can cut off just like that. And now we're going to place this right here onto the teddy and we're going to put it right in between the eyes, okay? So it's gonna be right in between the eyes, just like that. And then you're gonna take this little piece that I told you to leave on and we're gonna put that on the darning needle. I cut off the end here. And then basically all we're gonna do is we're going to crochet around. So I'm gonna hold, now this is again where you could use your stick pen if you needed to, okay? But I'm going to go around and just simply go in and out of my teddy bear. So I'm gonna go in and out, and then back through the same spot. Okay, so you might wanna leave a little bit of a longer piece than I did. <laughs> So you wanna be able to work this in. But as you can see, I'm just going around in and out, just like that. So I'm gonna go right back into the same place. Okay, and now I can cut off probably should work that in in the end as well, but I didn't have enough. So for the sake of the video, we're gonna leave it like that. And then if anything gets distorted like this where it's pulled too hard from where we were sewing, you can use your darning needle to pull it out a little bit. Okay, you don't wanna mess it up, but you can pull it out just a little bit. If you see any black coming through, use your darning needle to press it down like this. So it'll go back into the teddy like that. And if there's any parts where you sewed where it caves in, just use your darning needle to pull it back out again, okay? If it's, you know, not formed correctly in any way, just use this to pull it out. And then that's it. You've got a cute little 
teddy bear. Isn't that just as cute as it can be? Now, it takes a little bit longer when you're learning to do something and when I'm trying to teach you on video camera, but these actually work up very, very quick, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you make tons of them. I have some other little creatures that I have made. I'm gonna be doing some videos on. So look out for those. And yeah, so this has been great fun. If you make any, please send me a picture. I love to see all your work. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and um, I have a Gmail, and then of course here on YouTube. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you again soon. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.